Although as the front-end developers, we are usually not graphic designers. Sometimes when working with websites, we have to use some graphic programs to, for example, crop a photo or modify an image in some way. And now I would like to show you some interesting solutions. The first program I wanted to show you is GIMP. It's a nice, small and free program, which is good alternative for Adobe Photoshop, which can be expensive. GIMP is free, open source, easy to use and user friendly. I use it often to modify my pictures, to change the size of the picture, its resolution, or compress it in some way. Also, it's good to put some quick fixes to your photos, modify them, etc, etc. GIMP can really come in handy for a front-end developer that is not a graphic designer, but has to work with some images on his website. As I said, it's free and nice to use, so I recommend it for everyone. It's very similar situation with Irfan View, which is also free and user-friendly graphic program, which is good for some quick modifications, downgrading an image size, cropping pictures, or placing some quick fixes to our photos. You can download it with no problem, check it by yourself. Some people prefer GIMP, some people prefer Irfan View, and there's nothing against using these two programs for different tasks, for example. The best way is to download them and check them for yourself and see if they might be useful for you. But we don't have to download a graphic program to our computer. What you can see on your screen right now is PhotoP, a really nice and free alternative for Photoshop working in the browser. As you can see, the interface of this program is very similar to Photoshop so everyone using Photoshop before won't be lost in this program. As I said, the biggest advantage of PhotoP is that it's free and you can launch it very quickly, just typing the address in your browser. But there are some disadvantages as well. Since it's launched in a browser, it depends on your internet connection and might work slower than your applications installed on your computer. But you can check it for yourself see on your own eyes its pros and cons, play with it, work with some pictures, see how this works on your computer in your browser with your internet connection, try it for yourself, because it might really come in handy when we need to do something quickly with our photos or our images, and we don't have any access to the desktop applications. The last thing I wanted to show you today is Canva. It's a really nice platform for creating some graphical things. As you can see, we have those sections right here. We can make, for example, a presentation, a poster, which can be a header of our website, a logo, for example, for our website. Let's click it. It's a really nice and really simple tool running in your browser as well. You have all these tools, those options, you can check, for example, a template. You can modify it, do with it whatever you want. Change the text for something else. And it's really nice, user friendly, and you can create really nice things with it. So I recommend to check it out. Let's go back. Let's see, for example, the poster section. You can create a poster if you want. As I said, all those templates are ready for you to be modified like this. You can do whatever you want with them, get inspired by them, and then you can create your own work depending on your own needs. So that will be it for this section of the course. Now I invite you to the next section and I hope to see you there really soon.